For FishingMagician.com, I'm Eric Grandstrom. Over a month ago, my sister got her fiance a fishing trip with a young guide out of the Tri-Cities to fish the Brewster Pool for sockeye. She asked if I would go and film it. Yesterday was the day. We met Wade Giesbrecht of Fish Intimidators at the launch in Brewster at 4 a.m. After a brief introduction, he baited up his six rods and we were off beneath the Highway 173 bridge, headed upriver towards the confluence of the Columbia and Okanagan rivers. Lines were in the water by 4.30 and we were fishing in the dim light among a hundred other boats. It wasn't long before the rod near Tim hooked up and we lost it. It was the start of some fast and furious action with rod tips bouncing, Tim and my sister Sonia grabbing them and me filming from the bow. Jinx it now. Nice and tight. Reel down to the weight again. Step up to the edge of the boat. There you go. There you go. Okay, lift. There we go, Son. Oh, on the board. Oh, time. I missed two with <laughs> Nice job. Well, I'm Fish Intimidators. My name's Wade. And we're out here in the Brewster Pool attempting to navigate the traffic and catch sockeye. And we have some in the bucket. Cover up some of them and show you the good ones. There we go. There is some dinks out here. How's the season been so far, Wayne? Uh, for the most part, if we can get them pretty good in the morning, then we're doing pretty decent. But if we miss this morning bite, it, it can get pretty tough later in the morning. So tell me about uh, your company. Tell me about uh, what you guys do. So we've been guiding for, well, we started in 2015, and we guide mostly eastern Washington. We we'll go all the way down to Drano Lake. We prefer to do salmon and sturgeon, walleye. Uh, we'll fish potholes and most of the rivers. So pretty much cover it. You say we. Did you Me and Dustin. Okay. You Dustin, guys have two boats then, right? That is correct. Okay. So my boat here, and we'll do six in this boat. Dustin will do four in his. This is the same style of boat, just a little shorter. Okay. Don't lose this one. <laughs> I'll try not to knock this one off. Here. There he is. Fish. So our first double of the day. Actually, we had another double earlier, but I lost mine. Nice block. Woohoo! Nice. Good job. Beauty. Okay, we're talking about uh, terminal tackle, so we got one in hand, Wade. Tell us about what you mean. This one here has been a pretty hot one this morning. If we can get it to where we can see it. Oops, pink, just a pink metal blade. Not sure what size it is, but it does work. Four pink beads, size two hooks, up to the Dodger, about a 12 to 14 inch leader. Okay. About a and then what uh, size four inch dropper ball are you using on this? That one is a five ounce. We're running at 25 feet this morning. Okay. All right. So they're and not. And you change up the the size of your of your weight based on where the rod is on the boat. Correct. I run six in the front, five in the middle, and four out the back. Okay. Now I see you've got uh, a jar of shrimp here, yep. and I see some baits that are or some scents that are back here. Do you have a particular concoction that you like to do, or do you like to set these up so, like a day or before, a couple of days before? What do you do? In that little container there, I have not got it out yet because it seems like the unscented stuff has been doing better. Oh, early, okay. But we'll be getting it out here soon. Okay. Um, I have Slam and Sam's Triple X in there. Gotcha. And gotcha. I will run. I like all of the products that Shane puts together. Right. Gray right. Bills. Gotcha. Gotcha. Northwest right. Bait and Sand. Well, That's Zilla Bait. 
in the door. Okay. But hey, uh, what do you guys say about this uh, experience? Fantastic. No better way to spend a morning. And how about this guide this morning? Awesome. Just spot on. We're Just killing him. Talk about the net. <laughs> 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 Nothing like a little sockeye fishing here in the early morning on the Brewster Pool. You... Well, I'll tell you what, that's a pretty good day of fishing right there, Wade. Yeah, it actually went better this morning than it has been in the past few mornings. See, it's all but... about having the camera here. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, kind of a little rocky start, but, yeah, you know, that's also lost a few. sockeye fishing. Uh, you, I mean, they freak out right yep. at the boat. That six-foot mark seems to be, okay, we're going to yep. get it or not, and, you know, sometimes you don't get them. You go for them and they're not there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw a mix today of bag. As far as what you've seen so far with this fishery, um, we got some really nice sockeye here today, some really good stuff. And we got that kind of later in the morning. Yeah. Is it matter? Is it just chance as far as size and what time of day? I think the size, they, they seem like when we get into the little ones, we'll catch several little ones. Yeah. So more schools out here probably still. Well, the big question is, how do people get a hold of you to come up here and enjoy what we did here this morning? By the way, uh, limits for the boat uh, in three, less than three hours, something yeah, like that. We started at 4, 4.15, 4 7.30. Yeah, not bad. Uh, how do they get a hold of you? So my phone number is 509-750-6809, and our website is fishthecolumbia.com. Okay, and you can search them up on Facebook, too. Just Facebook. look for Fish Intimidators. Yep. And, uh, hey, I appreciate meeting you here today. Yeah. Thank Thanks you very much. And uh, get up here and get some sockeye while the sockeye is getting good at the Brewster Pool. And uh, you might even happen into a king while you're at it. For FishingMagician.com, I'm Eric Granstrom. Until next time, good fishing.